So an infield base hit, runners at first and third, and here's number 10 to pinch hit. And it's Rusty Staub. Staub has been up 22 times this year. He has five hits. Couple of RBIs. Two outs. Runners at the corners for the Mets. Fastball is high. There's a strike, one and one. Staub batting for Len Dykstra. Staub, one of only two players in Major League history to have a home run as a teenager and one as a 40-year-old. The other, Ty Cobb. Ball well hit right field. This ball is foul. Oh, baby. Staub knew it. He wasn't running right off the bat. He knew that ball was going to tail foul. On nostalgia night, had that ball been a home run, baby, this place would have been cut and loose. This place would have been in jeopardy of being torn down. Yep. Rusty got that ball on the inside part of the plate, and I mean, he sent it out there, and it just goes to the right-hand side of the foul pole. Man. So just a long strike. One and two to stop. Two out. Mets trail by two. Ball oh, well hit to right center field. This ball's got a chance. Out of here, home run, Rusty Stop. The Mets lead three to two. to figure that out everybody on their feet Steve I must say I thought Andre Dawson came up with that ball he missed it by a matter of inches at first I did too Dawson gave it a great effort but boy to stop give it a ride high and deep he had just missed a home run on the previous pitch. Watch the Hawk fly up right here and almost get it, but it's over his gloves. Watch his wrist come down on the top of the fence after he leaps up. See the ball just go over the top of the glove, and Dawson right after that banged that wrist on the top of the fence, but Rusty stops first home run of the year. 1-0 to Hernandez. What an absolutely thrilling moment. And that is an understatement. Rusty had only two RBIs going into that at bat. And he now has five as he drives in three with one swing. I'll tell you what fooled me on that ball. When Dawson came down, that white wristband against between the glove and that blue shirt, I thought it was the ball. I thought that was actually the ball. And that's why I thought he caught it. Two and out to Hernandez. Three to two, New York leads it. Wow. That was only the second home run that Reardon has given up this season. Stobbs home run last year against Larry Anderson of the Phillies. Last week of the season. Three and out to Hernandez. One of those runs, incidentally, Santana's charged against David Palmer. As you look at Jesse Orozco and Roger McDowell now throwing for New York. And the other two runs charged for Reardon. And Hernandez walks. Well, that play behind second base where Vance Law could not get the ball out of his glove certainly is proving costly to the Expos. And here comes Buck Rogers. What could this be all about? He's got his best 
reliever in there. You think he'll go to another right-hander? Hmm. Interesting move. Yes, it is. And he's going to bring in Tim Burke. Well, watch this closely, because you will rarely see Jeff Reardon taken out of a ball game after he enters it. And Reardon getting a standing ovation and somewhat of a mock ovation at that. As he fails to record one out and facing three batters, he gives up a base hit, a three-run home run, and a walk. Excitement galore here at Shea as Tim Burke enters third pitcher of the night for the Montreal Expos. Man. And this is what did it. Rusty Stop, the pinch hit home run. Now watch Dawson jump. How appropriate that Rusty would hit it on nostalgia night after the career he's had. Here goes Dawson. He comes down. And you see that white band on his wrist. For an instant, it did look like he had the ball. Of course, you don't. You know, I understand you don't catch the ball with your wrist since the glove's on your hand, but that's really what fooled me on the call. Well, a flash of white uh -huh. on a play like that when the ball disappears. Dawson right at the wall, hand on the wall, goes up, and he hit his arm on the wall. 